Okay. <laughs> um, what else? Audrey was married three times. Yeah. Mel Farrow, blah, 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 who I heard was very selfish. Um, and also that he could only get work if he produced it. <laughs> anyway. Um, then there was, I know, I should know, why am I having trouble? I, I'll be honestly, have read so many books on it. Um, Andrea Dottie, there you go. And, was there a third? I'm so confused. Okay, oh no, I'm gonna talk about her love interest anymore, I don't know. <laughs> but, she had two kids. Uh, Sean, she had Sean with Mel, and then she had to go with Andrea. Andrea? I don't know how to say it. But, um, Sean has been more in the public eye than Sean. But Sean, no, Sean has been in the public eye more than Luca. Um, I guess Luca's more shy, doesn't want to be in the spotlight. But they both run her Audrey Hepburn Foundation thing, so. They give the rights to put her face on stuff and to sell her merchandise and her movies and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's basically what they're charged for. And her charity for UNICEF, so. Um, she, uh, blah, blah, what else? Oh, she, like I said, she was a dancer. She was also a singer, um, which she sang in Moon Over and I guess it to be basically my favorite movie song or song of all time. It's just so beautiful. And it makes me tear up. Not because of what its song is saying, but her voice just so soft and gentle. And I don't know, it just... Hearing her sing just tear me up. Tear me up all the time. Every time I hear it. But, um... She uh, didn't... She wasn't, I guess, a singer like Judy Garland singer, like the high notes and all that kind of stuff, but she did have a good voice. Um, she wasn't trained to sing, but she did a good job. Um, but, yeah, she uh, never thought she was a singer, but believe me, she was a uh, She could dance, but she didn't think she could, but she could. But I guess because um, she wasn't trained, she kind of felt like she wasn't that good. But she was good. Um, I'm not just saying that <laughs> because she's my favorite person. I'm I'm saying that because it's true. Um, my favorite movie of her would have to be the Nun story. I think uh, it's just perfect and I wish she wanted something for that because she was really great um and it was her first movie without any makeup or hair or fancy clothes because she wanted to prove that she could deserve to be an actress so she did it that she did that movie and it proved it um I wish she'd have done little bullet points, but I was like, I know so much about her, but now it's like getting kind of... <laughs> she, oh, she's the only person to ever win an Oscar, an Emmy, a Grammy, and a Tony. None of the only people. This is like Whoopi Goldberg, too. But, um, Audrey Hepburn also has that title. I didn't know if she won a Grammy or an Emmy, so I learned something today. She won... Um, an Emmy for Gardens of the World with Audrey Hepburn. And then she won a Grammy for her sp spoken word chanted tales thing. So, I don't know that. <laughs> so, I looked it up, so. Went somehow humanitarian awards and she was just an angel, angel, angel. She went on the holiday, she played an eight, uh, princess, her first movie. Her last, she played an angel, and always. And I think that's the most perfect thing ever. Like, she went from one thing to another, and that's what she did in real life. So, just, I love that she was an angel in her last movie. Yeah, um, 
Steven Spielberg, when they were talking about who should be the angel, he said, well, Audrey Hepburn, of course, and he didn't think she would because she hadn't acted in so long, but when he asked her, she said, of course. <laughs> so, just a small part, apparently, but I'm just, I need to see it. I really do, because she was, per I'm a perfect person for that. Um... I'm gonna get into the the end of her next video, but talk to you then. Mm.